Good morning, space fans, and welcome back to Horizon X. So you clicked because something weird is happening with Comet 3i Atlas, and trust me, your curiosity radar was spot on. This interstellar visitor just earned itself some very unusual attention from planetary defense networks, and some observers claim it's literally changing course as we speak. Today we're diving into why the International Asteroid Warning Network suddenly decided this comet deserves hundreds of telescopes pointed at it, plus investigating some pretty bold claims about trajectory shifts that would make rocket engineers weep. But here's the kicker, we'll unpack later. Why is NASA sitting on crystal clear images from Mars while all this unfolds? Quick disclaimer, I'm not a scientist, just a space enthusiast like you. This video investigates 3i Atlas including unverified claims and speculation about trajectory changes. Think of this as cosmic storytelling with footnotes, not a doctoral thesis. Part 1. The Planetary Defense Plot Twist Let's start with something that actually happened and we can verify. The International Asteroid Warning Network, or IADUL in if you love acronyms, just announced they're launching a coordinated global campaign to monitor 3i Atlas. This is the same organization that protects Earth from space rocks with bad attitudes. Here's what makes this fascinating. They never did this for Oumuamua back in 2017. They also skipped 2i Borisov in 2019. But now, with 3i Atlas, suddenly it's all hands on deck. According to Dr. Avi Loeb's recent analysis, IABULN made their announcement on October 21, 2025, right when 3i Atlas reached solar conjunction, basically when it disappeared behind the sun from Earth's perspective. The official statement reads like bureaucratic poetry. Comet 3i Atlas presents unique challenges for accurate astrometric measurements and orbit predictions. The International Asteroid Warning Network announces a campaign from November 27, 2025 through January 27, 2026 to exercise the capability of the observing community to extract accurate astrometry. Translation? They want hundreds of telescopes worldwide tracking this thing's exact position because apparently standard methods aren't cutting it. The campaign requires registration by November 7 and only workshop attendees can participate. It's like an exclusive club for people who want to stare at potentially anomalous space objects. But why now? Why this particular interstellar visitor? That's where things get interesting, and by interesting, I mean potentially paradigm shifting. Part 2. The Loeb Scale and Statistical Nightmares Dr. Avi Loeb, Harvard's resident, maybe it's aliens professor, has been tracking 3i Atlas on what he calls the Loeb Scale. 0 to 10 where 10 means definitely artificial, and 0 means definitely natural. He initially ranked 3i Atlas at a 4, then considered dropping it to a 2, but recent developments might be pushing it back up. Let's walk through the statistical nightmare that is 3i Atlas. First, its trajectory aligns within 5 degrees of our solar system's ecliptic plane. The odds of this happening randomly? About 2%. Not impossible, but eyebrow-raising, Second, during July and August 2025, it displayed a sunward jet or anti-tail. This isn't some optical illusion. Instruments confirmed material was flowing toward the sun, which is like watching a river flow uphill. This behavior has never been observed in any comet before. Third, its nucleus is roughly a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times more massive than 2i Borisov, while moving faster than both. The probability of this size-speed combination? Less than 0.1%. Fourth, its arrival timing was surgically precise, bringing it within tens of millions of kilometers of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, while being unobservable from Earth at perihelion. The odds? 0.005%. That's the kind of precision that makes mission planners cry tears of joy. Fifth, the gas composition is bonkers. The plume contains way more nickel than iron, resembling industrial nickel alloys rather than natural comet material. The nickel to cyanide ratio is orders of magnitude higher than any known comet, including 2i Borisov. Probability of natural occurrence? Below 1%. Sixth, only 4% of the gas plume is water by mass. Most comets are basically dirty snowballs, but 3i Atlas apparently missed that memo. 
though interestingly, it did dump a massive amount of water right before disappearing behind the sun, almost like jettisoning ballast before a maneuver. Seventh, it shows extreme negative polarization unprecedented in comet observations. The way it interacts with light bears no resemblance to any comet we've ever studied. Again, probability below 1%. Eighth, it arrived from a direction within 9 degrees of the famous WOW signal detected in 9th. Coincidence probability? About 6%. And here's the bonus weirdness. Despite obvious outgassing, 3i Atlas showed virtually no non-gravitational acceleration. Even massive comets like Hale-Bopp get pushed around by their own gas emissions. It's like watching someone use a leaf blower while remaining perfectly still. Each of these anomalies alone might be explainable. Together, they're starting to look like Murphy's Law on steroids, or alternatively, like something that wasn't left to chance. Part 3. The Trajectory Claims Now we get to the unconfirmed but potentially explosive part. Claims spread online from a group called Earth Exists suggest that 3i Atlas has begun changing course in ways that would make Newton file a complaint with the universe. According to their October 21st observations, 3i Atlas allegedly wasn't where NASA's JPL Horizon system predicted it should be. They claim JPL predicted coordinates of right ascension 13 hours, 46 minutes, 57.51 seconds, and declination negative 8 degrees, 15 arc minutes, 20 arc seconds, but their observations showed right ascension 13 hours, 47 minutes, 54.3 seconds, and declination negative 8 degrees, 21 arc minutes, 16.2 arc seconds. The reported discrepancy is 15.4 arc minutes, which at 3i Atlas's distance of 2.38 astronomical units translates to roughly 1.1 million kilometers of lateral displacement. For perspective, that's nearly three times the Earth-Moon distance and about 20 times larger than Oumuamua's famous deviation. But here's the kicker in these unconfirmed reports. The distance measurement was allegedly perfect at 2.38 AU. Same object, same range, completely different sky position. It's like GPS showing your car at the right distance from your house, but in your neighbor's driveway. The group claims that 19 hours later, the gap had widened by over four arc minutes, suggesting active divergence at about 0.23 arc minutes per hour. Maintaining this trajectory shift would require approximately 3.95 kilometers slash of lateral velocity that gravity alone cannot explain. I need to emphasize, these are unverified claims from sources I haven't fully vetted. The data seems detailed and specific, but extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. However, if these trajectory changes are real, we're looking at something that would revolutionize our understanding of what's possible in our cosmic neighborhood. Part 4. The Mars Mystery Here's our second mystery that's been bugging me throughout this whole saga. Where are NASA's Mars-based observations? Multiple probes orbit Mars with instruments far superior to Earth-based telescopes, and 3i Atlas passed much closer to Mars than Earth. NASA's Mars orbiters had front-row seats to this interstellar show, with perfect positioning to capture detailed images of the nucleus, determine its actual shape, and resolve questions about its composition. These observations could definitively answer whether we're looking at a weird comet or something more exotic. Yet these potentially game-changing images remain unreleased. NASA and JPL are connected to I. Abueshnin, the same organization that just decided 3i Atlas deserves unprecedented monitoring. If this were just another comet, would they really greenlight a global observation campaign? The timing feels deliberate. I. Abu N announces their campaign right as 3i Atlas disappears behind the sun, when Earth-based observations become impossible. Meanwhile, the clearest images of this object allegedly sit in NASA's databases, unseen by the scientific community. Part 5. What happens next? 3i Atlas will emerge from behind the sun in early November 2025, and that's when things get really interesting. If the trajectory change claims prove accurate, we'll know immediately. An object that shifted millions of kilometers off its predicted path won't be subtle about it. The IOZOL UN campaign runs from November 27th. Assistant. Part 5. What happens next? 3i Atlas will emerge from behind the sun in early November 2025. And that's when things get really interesting. 
if the trajectory change claims prove accurate, we'll know immediately. An object that shifted millions of kilometers off its predicted path won't be subtle about it. The IWN campaign runs from November 27th through January 27th, 2026, giving the global astronomy community two months of coordinated observations. This isn't casual stargazing, we're talking about precision astrometry from hundreds of telescopes simultaneously tracking one object. It's like having the entire world's astronomical community hold their breath and stare at the same patch of sky. If 3i Atlas emerges on its predicted trajectory, the unconfirmed trajectory claims get filed under interesting but incorrect. The statistical anomalies remain puzzling, but explainable within natural phenomena, even if barely. But if it emerges significantly off course, and I mean significantly, not just the minor deviations that natural outgassing might explain, then we're potentially looking at the most important discovery in astronomical history. An interstellar object demonstrating controlled propulsion would fundamentally change everything we know about our place in the cosmos. The nuclear-level energy required to shift something as massive as 3i Atlas by millions of kilometers isn't trivial. We're talking about thrust capabilities that would make our best rocket engines look like birthday candles. Natural processes simply don't pack that kind of punch, especially not with the precision these alleged observations suggest. Part 6. The Bigger Picture What makes this situation particularly intriguing is the convergence of factors. Dr. Loeb submitted a white paper to the United Nations on September 30th, advocating for coordinated global research on interstellar objects that might carry alien technology. Three weeks later, IABOAU and announces their unprecedented campaign. The white paper specifically mentions black swan events with small probabilities must be considered seriously if their implications to the future of humanity are large. That's diplomatic language for even if it's probably natural, we should treat potential alien technology with appropriate seriousness. Meanwhile, 3i Atlas keeps accumulating anomalies like a cosmic bingo card of weirdness. Each individual oddity might have natural explanations, but the pileup is becoming statistically uncomfortable. It's like flipping a coin and getting heads 20 times in a row. Not impossible, but eventually you start wondering about the coin. The timing of the water dump before solar conjunction, particularly, caught my attention. If you were operating a spacecraft and planning a trajectory change around the sun, jettisoning excess mass beforehand would be operationally logical. Less mass means more efficient maneuvering. But comets dump water all the time, so this could easily be coincidental. Part 7. Keeping perspective. Before anyone starts building bunkers or practicing their alien contact protocols, let's maintain some cosmic perspective here. We have zero confirmed evidence that 3i Atlas is anything other than a really weird comet. The trajectory change claims, while detailed and specific, remain unverified. The statistical anomalies, while eyebrow-raising, could still represent the universe's capacity for surprise within natural processes. Even if 3i Atlas were artificial, and that's still a massive if, there's no evidence suggesting hostile intent. An object that traveled potentially thousands of years between stars isn't exactly rushing toward Earth with obvious aggressive purpose. If anything, its trajectory suggests it's leaving our solar system, not targeting our planet. The coordinate shift calculations, if accurate, would require impressive propulsion technology but not necessarily threatening technology. Advanced doesn't automatically mean dangerous, though it would certainly mean paradigm shifting for human civilization. What we're really looking at is the scientific process working exactly as intended. Anomalous observations prompt increased scrutiny, which leads to better data, which hopefully leads to better understanding. Whether that understanding confirms natural explanations or reveals something unprecedented, the process itself is fundamentally sound. Part 8. The Resolution So here's where we resolve our mysteries. The first mystery, why I Abu Yeno and suddenly decided 3i Atlas deserves unprecedented global monitoring, likely stems from the accumulation of statistical anomalies that, while individually explainable, collectively warrant serious investigation. When an object displays eight different low-probability characteristics simultaneously, professional planetary defense networks take notice. The trajectory change claims, if verified, would explain this heightened attention perfectly. 
but until 3i Atlas emerges from solar conjunction and we can confirm its actual position, these remain unverified internet reports rather than established facts. Our second mystery, NASA's unreleased Mars observations, might have a more mundane explanation. Data processing takes time, especially for unprecedented objects requiring novel analysis techniques. Alternatively, if those images show something genuinely anomalous, coordinated release through proper scientific channels would be standard protocol. The real answer probably lies somewhere between really weird comet and revolutionary discovery. 3i Atlas might represent natural phenomena we simply haven't encountered before, pushed to the edges of what's statistically probable but not impossible. What do you think? Are we looking at the universe showing off its capacity for natural weirdness or something that suggests intelligence behind the anomalies? Drop your thoughts in the comments because this is exactly the kind of cosmic puzzle that benefits from collective thinking. The next few months will likely provide definitive answers about 3i Atlas. Either it emerges on its predicted trajectory and we file this under fascinating but natural, or it appears somewhere completely unexpected and we start rewriting astronomy textbooks. The IWN campaign will give us unprecedented observational data either way. Having hundreds of telescopes simultaneously tracking one object means we'll know its position, trajectory, and behavior with extraordinary precision. No more relying on scattered observations or unverified claims. We'll have professional-grade data from a coordinated global effort. Regardless of what 3i Atlas turns out to be, it's already pushed us to ask better questions about interstellar objects, statistical analysis in astronomy, and our protocols for investigating anomalous phenomena. Sometimes the journey toward understanding proves as valuable as the destination. If you found this cosmic detective story as fascinating as I did, make sure to subscribe to Horizon X and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our follow-up when 3i Atlas emerges from behind the sun. Give this video a like if it satisfied your space curiosity and share it with anyone who enjoys a good astronomical mystery. Whether 3i Atlas proves to be the weirdest comet ever discovered or something that fundamentally changes our understanding of what travels between the stars, we'll be here to break down the observations and implications. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and keep looking up.